Sean. Hi, how are you? That's me. Nice to meet you too. How have things been going? Awesome. They've been going great. It's like day 20, I think. Every day is a total adventure because I have no idea like what's going to happen. Yesterday we kicked, but the day before, nothing was in sync, not fitting together. So I don't know what's going to happen today. The scene that's being shot today is a... Uh, it's a heavy scene for both of the actors because it's, it's basically almost the end of the film. And um, so it's, it's a serious... We'll sort of be quiet today because um, give them respect. You know, I, I realize my favorite thing to do is to, to shoot out in the streets. The streets of New York are just so much, there's so much energy and it's chaotic and it's crazy and we're such a little film that, you know, we have to fight pedestrians, people looking in the camera, like all that stuff all the time. But it's, there's still something about it that keeps you on edge like all day long. You're going, going, going. We're right over there. All right, so we've been shooting this movie here in uh, this building on 124th and Lennox Avenue up in Marlin, New York. And, uh, well, basically it burned down the fire and was gutted, has recently been renovated. And before they rent out to the uh, new tenants, the art department came in, and we've been shooting our film here. My name is uh, Mark Peterson, and I'm the production manager. Is so, an HMI bulb is $155. They're notorious for charging us tax. Let's so see if they can do it right this time. My name is Spent Shehu. I'm a PA. We'll basically keep on check on watch. Today. I'm a star, baby. You know, I'm a star here. doing a little blocking rehearsal before I bring the crew over and start setting up. We can go this way, we can go that way. I think this is beautiful. It's like great. You can fly this thing out. Yeah. It's about New York street life, really, in a realistic way. It's about addiction. It's about um, being homeless. It's about success. It's about uh, a heroin addict in New York City, and the other character is a recovering heroin addict. One who's on the sort of above the addiction and one who's underneath the addiction and how they cross paths. It's really about the friendship of the two women and sort of the journey that they take and they learn and they grow a lot but it's also very sad because in the end basically... You can't say the end! Oh, you can't, say, you can't say the end! Don't put that cut. one out! Right, cut it! Uh, it's a very personal story and a, and a very sort of goes on many different levels which I found very interesting and, 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 and touching. It's so real. It's so realistic and not not just cinema verite, but it goes to goes to the heart of real people. And she has just reached points that you really, 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 really see it in a script. Where did the script come from? The script came from my a lot of my own life experiences and people that I've known, but it's it's a story that's very close to my heart. It's a story that I've worked on for six years. It's about a lot of issues that I deal with today and that I've dealt with in my past. We blocked the first scene. It's tricky with the shadows. Actors are getting ready. Everyone's setting up. My uh, makeup man is stuck on that accident on the George Washington Bridge this morning. And um, I'm fighting daylight today. So, you know, it's just another crisis to overcome. So hopefully we'll see him sooner, but you should proceed as if okay. he's an hour away. Done. I'm preparing uh, bags of drugs for uh, for the scene that we're shooting today. That's fake heroin, that's flour and cinnamon. The glassines are actually uh, philatelous product. They're for uh, stamp collectors, and that's actually what they use on the street. Rosemary has a thing that it's not glamorous, that it's not uh, a kind of glamorization of the behavior, right. but uh, a real depiction of it as, you know, as people experience it, which is a big deal. Her ideas were conveyed to me early on she gave me great references to go by. Photographer Brenda Ann Keneally, who introduced us to some crack addicts. We actually photographed their places. Does Digna have her own kit? I'm sure she, would, no, I'm sure no, she no. wouldn't have her own kit. No. But she has her own works. Does Digna have a spoon? I have a black and spoon. That's perfect. That's good. That can be Alex's. Okay. I can come over. Okay, art department. I think someone should, should stay here at all times. Oh, I agree. I'll, I'm happy to stay here the whole time. That's fine. And art. <laughs> Our first days of shooting 
were the coldest day, the first days of winter, when it was like 30 degrees out, and we were outside, and it totally shows in the dailies, like everyone's freezing. <laughs> It is getting warmer. Okay. How you doing? Yeah, well, neither is this, damn it. I don't understand what you're going through, okay? We're using about six different stocks. The characters actually become each other. They switch places in a lot of ways. And, and uh, that has a lot to do with, with juggling these these six stocks. There's like uh, the EXR stocks and the Vision stocks. And the EXR stocks have their particular look and then the newer generation, the Vision stocks, have their particular look. And, and the two characters that play have one as EXR stocks and one as Vision stocks. They converge and then they cross. Once again, nobody back here will catch your reflection in the glass. And roll sound. Action. Alex, wait. Stuff. There's a lot of uh, intuitive handheld and uh, held work where I'm really trying to be as much in character as possible. The decision to shoot Super 16, which I try to avoid like the plague. This film really lent itself to Super 16 because if it's too slick, if it's too smooth, it, it's contradictory to the, the content. Uh, yeah, I agree. I didn't feel like you really wanted her to get the fuck away from you, right? It wasn't that she represented everything that you don't have. I didn't feel it was just strong enough, that's okay. all. Okay, okay. That was I the line thing. I think it was. Yeah, okay. I'm sure of it. Okay, cool. Because I know you well enough by now. Okay. You have a lot of freedom, but you really, I really do trust that if it's not touching on the note that she wants, she'll address it. She's really awesome, really smart. Tell us what you're doing with the makeup right now. The character. Can we not do that right now? Yeah. Sorry. Okay. Not right now. All right. Sorry about that. Take four. I'm coming you with you. You can't save me. Get the fuck away from me. Alex, ah, please. Listen to you. Are you telling this to me? Everybody loves the sauce, I, they love my, uh, oh, my dressing is, oh, unbelievable. Forget about it. They, they, they eat like their friggin' Mama Luke's over here. Get a job, I tell these people. You want two cranks or one crank? I think I want three cranks. Oh, you want one, two, three. All right. He likes to serve. I like a man who likes to serve. Guys, this is our 100th camera roll. During a film, when you reach your 100th roll, you have some champagne to celebrate that he reached that point. Hey, who needs cheese when we have champagne? <laughs> I really love films so much. And as far as recent films that I've seen that I love, it would be like Breaking the Waves. M movies that I don't like to see are movies that glamorize things that really hurt people. Drug addiction is something that is rampant all over the place, and people either look the other way or they just write it off. If I can eliminate just a teeny bit of judgment for all the people that we see on television, all the people you walk by the street, you know, and you just kind of like write them off, that if you can just look at them for a second and see some bit of humanity in them, that would be a success for my film, for me. We have to have a disclaimer after we finish. Yeah, there's got to be a disclaimer. <laughs> this is like a true independent situation. Why? What's wrong here? We have the 8x silk and we got a 6x frame. This frame is 6 feet by 6 feet. Okay. 
So normally you tie on a six foot by six foot silk. And so that it fits, it's taut, it fits on it. This is eight feet by eight feet, so on every side we've got two extra feet. The viewers cannot see that silk. That's the only thing. Okay, we're, we're with you. Well, the thing that people would love to know, like, especially is like, what, what did you do to go out of film school and get on these sets? It just snowballs. You meet one person and then you meet five other people from that one person, and then it's just like, <laughs> like Amway. I don't know, you have like all these, you know, this, your base spread of people all of a sudden that you know about. I paid for a year and a half on mostly union jobs, so there was really no way to move up because it's all union. You spend time doing, being a PA, you get a, your hand in the cookie jar and everyone's cookie jar. Could you tell us what you're doing? I'm making heroin. Glycine, a little carpet fresh. For both skull and crossbones. Bada bean, bada boom, 20 bucks. We hit the road, babe. This is Dime Bag Johnny. That's good. Put That's his name that. on the street. Put me with that. Lock it up, guys. Quiet, please. OK, stand by for the bus, and then we'll shoot. OK, let's go. So you're the, I hear you're the big dog? Uh, I'm, I'm, see, I got things organized here already. They depend on me. Find a home and stay there. Maybe I have to stay in one position. See, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, see, I'm quiet, please. Right away. Rolling. I'm keeping things on top here. See, now we're rolling. Now, see how everybody quiets? How do you, uh, what do you, what is your technique? Action. My technique. What is your, what, my you, technique. what is your magic? My technique is, if they hear my voice, they know something's going your down. Your voice commands authority. My voice is authority. These people, they don't listen. Once they hear my voice over the walkie, that means I mean business. Cut. That was good. But they're doing a good job. They're doing a good job. Yeah. yeah. I'm proud of them. Hey, we got about 20 minutes of light left. About four shots to go. Today we rewrote a scene for nighttime when it totally wasn't supposed to be. And, and it's right on the tail end of something that we shot right before it, which are two continuous scenes that cut into each other. Do you think the cold is, is helping you get it into character no. all the more? Oh, okay. I was gonna... <laughs> it's just fun. <laughs> just the thought. Love you. So, what are you bringing to them? Blow pops and gram, uh, chewy gram slams. If it keeps them happy and makes them work, uh, that's good enough. What, what do you have? We've got like, do we have, we have the lemon and we've got okay. the green tea. So take both bags and bring a cup of water. And that way you don't have to walk alone, that's all I'm saying. You don't have to walk alone down the street with 68 people in the dark in Harlem. I walk by myself in Harlem. I just walked all the way over here by myself in the dark. Are you the angel of Harlem? No. <laughs> I faxed this to the office, but they actually, they didn't think it was funny, actually. It was a beautiful day. The actors nailed it. It was great. All right. Uh, goodbye, everybody. Bye, guys. Thanks for sharing bye our bye. day with us. Bye. 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 All right. Hope you got some good stuff. I think yeah. uh, we did. Yeah. All right. Bye. <laughs> and he asked me before, he asked me before why I wasn't nervous and stressed out at the end of the day because like this is like the best time of my entire life and you know I'm just like I wake up every morning I'm like on my way to my dream. I'm just so grateful and overwhelmed by it that it's just stay focused and do what I'm doing and I think it's all okay. Totally. This is my first feature. <laughs> this is my first feature. Look, if they want me for the part, I'm fucking right for the part. I feel like fucking psyched <laughs> to be working with it. <laughs> it's fucking freezing the first week, freezing. We would be like, <laughs> but I mean, it's fucking tough. It's really rigorous. It's really fucking exhausting. This is this a terrible interview? This is going absolutely terribly. <laughs>